look how much I need this. I really need this. We have got a provisional bid in on a BMW 5 Series, a 525i petrol though. Strictly speaking, you can be contributing probably at least a thousand pounds for this, and you're not. Well, it's not cheaper because of the labour. Yes, influenza type A. Could you get them to give us a quote to get, get the work done? Another warranty, another warranty, another warranty. Forget the cars. I hate cars. Oh, is that telling you the temperature, is that? Battery and temperature. How much is one of those? 50 quid. 50? 52 quid for a deal. Yeah, too bad. Mill came around with their flyer, 65 quid plus far. Yeah. Got a powerful weight for 50 something. I meant that. They're meant to be the... Milwaukee Man's meant to be coming around at some point. It did. Point. Ah. Yeah, and it had, yeah. Yeah. How much is that? He said, I said it's cheap and powerful, mate. How much is that? He goes, that, that's not. Very fancy. Good man. Smart, that. Smart, that. I don't know how exactly it works, but. Smart, man, like you'll figure it out. Yeah. I assume that flashes and goes along as off. Yeah, I guess so. Which way you quite Look at it, see if it sizzles. <laughs> I just touch Toby on the back of the hand with it, <laughs> see if he screams. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, hi Andrew speaking. Hi Andrew, it's Joe calling you from Barrow Motors again. I don't know if you remember we spoke about your uh, your Brent Knoll yeah, site. Yeah, we're still in the same position, man. I'm just in the meeting at the moment. Okay. Can I come back to you? Of course you can, of course you can, no problem. Fantastic. All right, Great thanks. Cheers, bye. Cheers, bye. He's going to come back to me, he said, at least. Hopefully, hopefully, huh? At least he hasn't sold it to anyone else. Yeah, he seemed friendly enough. And so he's going to come back to me. So, that, I mean... Hopefully we'll get a chance to have a conversation with him. That's what I want here. Uh, just so I can be like, look how pathetic I am. Look how much I need this. I really need this. My ego needs this so I can expand this business. And I'd be forever grateful. And I'll cry a little bit and stuff. And see, uh, see if we can't convince him to do it. I think he said we're still in the same situation, man, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, man. So he's pretty hippity hot. Even either, if he's like, no, you can't have the site, I'll be like, all right, that makes me very sad. But probably the only thing that cheer me up is letting me drive the Guards Red 911 GT3 you've got in stock. Make a video of that. What do you reckon? And he'd probably be like, just fuck off now. <laughs> Right. Now I just nervously wait for a call back, which I probably won't get today, quite frankly. Oh, for fuck's sake. Apparently you're not having a very fun time. It's always a good time. <laughs> it's always a good time in barrel motors. <laughs> so here is our truck, our OG. But, um, some some brake issues. What is he doing? So, yeah, old caliper. The um, beautiful, beautiful brake pads. Look at those. I have seen a few miles. Oh, did I? I bought a light. I also need a, a little nipple to. Um, Stop that fluid from leaking. And this is the uh, 
That was that's the old brake line. Yeah. It's not there anymore. It exploded. Oh, this is so much better than my phone. Look at that. Look at those. Fancy. All the new parts. There is no brake lines though, because they are broken. That's what happened to it. Lines, new lines come tomorrow morning. Yeah. So we just put it together. I'm ready for tomorrow pretty much. I don't like that. It's tight but it's not feeling tight. Recording? Yeah. I've been informed that if we press the pedal down, this is not a good angle for the camera. <laughs> we push the pedal down and hold it down, it'll stop dribbling, but I'll take the squirt first. Do you want to get out of the way and then we'll get some water? I feel like that's a poor idea. Yeah, with a pedal up, it will dribble the whole lot out in the night. Yeah. With a pedal down, it will squirt those and then stop. No more will come because the piston's all down. <laughs> really? Apparently, that's what Steph said. Squirt a lot and then no more. Steph, he, Steph's oh, either saying that because it's good advice or he's saying it because it'd be funny when it just pisses out anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm not. It's going to go two ways, isn't it? A lot of brake fluid. That's a fair bit. No? Parts, Toby. Totally. No, that's even the wrong end. Well, that's the wrong end for. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. remember, it screws in, doesn't it? It was a screw that cut the end. I never saw it from my end. So well, I'll, I'll go show you. Grab that. Just try and get it out the other one. Yeah, but it's not something that. Yeah. Alright, and then I'll go get the other end. Frustrating. The wrong, the wrong stuff. So seven and a half is a good price. Yeah. This is another three hundred quid off, so I'll make a big deal of that. Focus two hundred quid. Don't know why that ain't performing because it's like ninety eight hundred. The three hundred Mercedes has dropped because of the monthly change. It's another five hundred quid lower. Three hundred Mercedes. The C three hundred hybrid thing. Oh yeah. So twelve and a half is now twelve. The Golf GTI has dropped massively as well. I'll do that by funny. That's not a huge one. That's why we have loads of money in there. But. Yeah. Uh, the Polo two hundred quid. So I'll do them. Do you get any interest in the SL five hundred? I mean, I did have a test drive before Christmas. I just got it on like a trade to trade group or something. It's worth a try. Just get our money back. And yeah, if we can. Because if I was offered it again now, I wouldn't buy it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, if we can get what we paid for out of it, I don't, you know, it's one of those you're going to get lucky one day, but what will that one day be? Because it's the right money and it's the right car to the right person, but those people are few and far between, aren't they? Um, yeah. But yeah, it's worth a try. Do you want me to try it, or shall I leave it where it is? What, the SL500? Yeah. Uh, what's it up for anyway? Nine. Nine, okay. Well, we gave six for it, didn't we? Yeah. So, um, if I put it up for six, five. Yeah, I think I'll get up and try it. Okie dokie. And I'm gonna, when we get a chance, I'm gonna get up bloody BMW uh, Z4. Actually, I might. Just re-advertise it from scratch if I can. 
because we've got it on the old plate still. So Z4? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Try, I'm going to try to re-advertise it, but I haven't played it. I might do a video on that as well, so it might yeah. help. Yeah, because if you yeah, clean it, it's probably worth it. Yeah. We have got a provisional bid in on a BMW 5 Series, a 525i petrol though. It'll be interesting to hear. In fact, let me show you where is it. This bad boy. It's not. That's oh, a 520i even, but it's a petrol. Only on 53,000 miles. Provisionally. What's oh, a manual as well? Manuel! Uh, what's it say the retail is on that? It said the cap clean was 9,800. I think we got a provisional bid in of 9,000. Uh, valuations. Retail value is 13,200. So you probably got that for 12,995. And obviously there'll be 400 quid probably in fees. So that'll be 9,4. So you'd be looking at like three and a half grand profit. Not the most popular car in the world, as far as an auto trader retail value goes, but it doesn't matter if you sit in it for a little while, does it? Twice as long, but you get three and a half grand out of it. Once you, probably less once you've done all your prep and whatever, but you know, still three and a half grand. How much? Uh, Thirteen thousand two hundred. Three and a half kilos. What's, that? What's another thing for a grand? Jeez. Three and a half bags of sand. <laughs> Serious work we do in the types. Mm -hmm. Come out to the beach, fly drones in two hundred pound cars. Oh, yeah, hey. Again, <laughs> yeah, five times over. Right, let's rock and roll, bro. If he wants to change his mind, that then you know he 
years we could sell that thing with a new engine in it now and you wouldn't have to worry about the paintwork bit and we wouldn't have to deal with him. Yeah. All right. Well, so, I'll, cause to be honest, I was going to say to him, look, you, you get the bloody bright, let's look at the bigger picture. You've bought a 10 grand car and you've now got probably a 15 grand or 12 grand car, so, or 12 grand kind of 14 grand car. And you, sh in, like, strictly speaking, you should be contributing probably at least a thousand pounds to this and you're not. So, calm down, let's do it. It's not our fault somebody's off sick, you can't control that. You can only control what you control. If you want to wait, you can wait. If you don't, the option's still there to unwind the deal and you can yeah. yeah, it's just such a, he said, all the communication's been shit as well. Is that what he said? <laughs> don't worry, mate, I'll speak to you, I'll let you know how it's going. Oh, boy. He no, he isn't. Hello. But he didn't ask for any updates or whatever. It's a stick to beans within it, simply as that. What's that, sorry? It's a stick to beans within it. Oh, I think it's definitely. And the paint's not done yet, it would be the next probably. Well, that's going to be the next thing, is yeah. we have to speak to James about it anyway, so it, it is looking more appealing to say that, have yeah. your money back and All right, well, I, I, off. obviously, I'll just keep it on there. So, you're going to find a card stick to over tea. Oh, one off of Spell, yeah, because the car's booked in, it's a smart car that's with an engine hanging out. Okay. Um, I've already sorted out the retest on the Corsa, don't need to take it, that said it'll be done later. Um, it's typical, I've got a drop from that, taking the 7.30, so West Norton. So West Norton, so yeah, I just spotted that just a minute ago. Do you reckon they'll be able to take our um, Audi to West Norton, so as well, 12 o'clock? Yeah. They haven't got anything on other than, oh, one of them's got something on, but... Yes. This afternoon to go to. They might have to not hold hands for the day. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a bit like valetors. It's like we haven't employed another valetor so that you can have company. <laughs> you don't need to be together the whole no. fucking time. No. In fact, I actively discourage it. Yes, very much so. Very much so. Separates. Um, problem is. You're not paying the wage bill, like, oh, we'll go together or whatever. It's like, well, no, you won't because it costs me twice as much. Yeah, it doesn't need to be done. That's right. There's um, an email there. Ian Gladwin, there's a workshop behind Apple Green Garage on the Barrow Road. And Mr. Oh, Fellow really used to run it. Not sure if it's available for lease, but maybe an avenue for your plans. That's well, we looked at before, wasn't it? I haven't looked behind at it ever. Huh? The one behind Apple Greens. I haven't looked at it, but I know it's there. Yeah. But it's got a still working company yeah. in there. I mean, it'd be alright for doing your MIT or whatever, but access is absolute. My friend. It'd be a really good single MIT setup, just on its own. Yeah, or but, your workshop or yeah. whatever. If you didn't need the public to come down there, because mm. they'd smash their cars up left, right, and centre. That might go anyway, yeah. It's true. Oh, yeah, and you'd never be able to even expand to doing slightly bigger vehicles either. You'd be stuck always well, going. Well, the other thing as well is, it just wouldn't suit us. Could you imagine, like, when they spend two hours refilling the fuel oh, station, they close the whole front off. Yeah, that's All true. access to the site is closed off. Oh, thank you anyway. Thanks again. Yes. Is this a car we sold or a car that's just in the steep hurry? I don't think so. No, that's right. Cool. That's right. That'd be my first job of the day then. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so really fun. Just a, just a one, one little car. Oh, okay. Got I don't know if I got I something down I, the farm. I've never looked on my list. Um, there was. There was one over the short and the sea. I could take the Honda CRV potentially because that's only till April. Here we got short. We got. I know we got some end of February one. New adapters the first of March. I just fancy a change, mate. You, you get sick of certain things, don't you? Especially if you drink it, see it every day. Just get sick of it. Could be time for a change. Now I just, do you know what, I had a Diet Coke at some point, and I was like, actually, quite tasty. So yeah, I've tried a, a regular Coke, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not that keen. But that's all I got now, so. I'm uh, pretty stoic. I'll just get on with it and drink the coke that I don't like. I'm not a complainer. Never catch me complaining. So, 
Yeah, that's it. It's tea here for you, Tobes. Good morning, Good morning. Barometers. Hello, mate, you okay? Yeah, not too bad. Take it, you want some money, do you? Yeah, okay, no worries. Key batteries down. I like key works. Main key's dead. I don't know if you get. Oh, sorry, I got an awful line. I think it must. I'm sorry, I think my phone's... I'll call you back, just because the, the line's so bad. Jeez Louise. Did you smell my dad earlier? No. <laughs> In fact, he just stank like onions and fucking whatever. Hello! Uh, what's the move-in date for your new house, Tobes? Friday. Friday? Hopefully, yeah. As in tomorrow? Yeah. They, they oh yeah, of course, that's why you want the van. Right, so I'm going to take a quick minute to talk about Vehicle Score once again, because not only have they very kindly sponsored this video, but they've got some updates to their website, which I thought I want to share with you. So. We're going to enter our registration from this very nice Jeep Renegade that we've currently got in stock, which is Charlie Alpha 66 Bravo Bravo X-Ray. And just like usual, we're going to get a score on it from 1 to 999 based on its MOT history, age, mileage, and many other factors. Ours is 913 out of 99. Sorry, 999. That's top marks. So you can go down, you can look at vehicle details, you can look at paid report history. If someone else has done a report on this car, um, over 20 days ago, you can see that. There's loads of information on here. There's an AI mechanic, there's future value estimators, a million and one things, but new added on here, which is another feature I asked for. In fact, I'll show you one of the first features I asked for was ULES status. So we can click that and find out if it's ULES compliant. It is ULES compliant. So if you want to take this to London, you wouldn't need to pay anything. On top of that, you can look at the vehicle performance. You do have to log in to be able to see this data, tell you the manufacturer, model, Euro status, brake horsepower, insurance group, top speed, 0 to 60, and it's 12 month tax cost. I'm not logged in, so I can't show you. I should have thought of this ahead of time, but as we all know, I'm not that organized. But that is very handy to do. So once I'm logged in here now, I can get on here and find out pretty much all the information I want. As I said, MOT history, go through, see what the last MOT was like. Super handy. These are all things that I asked vehicle score if they could add to the system, including the ULES checker, including being able to put a banner at the bottom of your picture for your car. So if you don't have vehicle score saved to your phone, as a, you can save it as a tab on your phone. So it's just like clicking onto an app to open it up. You are missing a beat. Thank you very much vehicle score for sponsoring this video. Travis is seven and a half, Cap is eight. Um, 
you know, I mean, I go at cat team up to about 8075. Eight, eight, oh, no worries, thanks again. Cheers. Ta da. Bye. Sorry, mate. It's gone. It has actually cleaned up really well, hasn't it? It's lovely. Drives lovely. It looks great. Getting the wheels refurbished, that look even better. Job done. Team plate with 92,000 miles, which is obviously relatively high. Uh, nine grand. Captain is 9.2. It'll sell for. What, um, it's in London. London. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got coming in at the moment? Uh, from me, only the Audi Cabriolet. That would be here for a while. That would be a few days. That's obviously here. That's nothing, but that's it. Not a huge amount. But obviously, if you know, I've got a phone in back and say no or. Yes, it's not really. What do they want for it? Nine. Nine. Just nine Captain nine. is nine two nine five one. What's the date? Uh, oh, you made a bit of a lucky jump. Yeah, I just thought, not bad, keen on it. It's probably a you know, nice vehicle, but we've got loads coming in, so we'll try to get it correct. We don't, don't we? Every day is a new dream. Yeah, it's three, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, the so what else have we got to collect? Is there an S4 to collect? So there's a car to go to MOT and an S4 to come back from MOT. There's almost a deal jobs, but... Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, you could go to uh, Westbury the other to actually get some stock here. Um, maybe Marth or Jordan could do the MOT run or something. So what have we got, the black truck here? Or the Navara in the trailer? Oh, potentially, because that was going to be the plan for this afternoon after it would take half an hour to do the brakes. Um, well, it's not cheaper because of the labour. So, Well, if it was going to be one truck with a trailer, it, it wouldn't be cheaper than that option. But yeah, obviously, yeah. If you bring in two back, then definitely, obviously, one of you would be driving the car back, yeah. Um, I don't know if you're not here. <sighs> a bit. Like the inside of my brain. I'm surprised there's not a few fires and probably some rats running around in here somewhere. Like my brain. Mm. Need a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to go to like a really fancy like hotel or something and just not leave the room for three days. Calm, read a book, do some work, do some planning, just a little pop tab thing in there maybe. You not get bored? No. Never get bored. I haven't been bored for about 15 years. No time to be bored. So when you've done that for 20 years, you uh, 
relish the opportunity to just do nothing. I couldn't do it for a long time. Obviously, I, I'm doing a million and one things all the time, but... Don't worry, I'll make sure Jordan makes it look like that before it goes out. Oh, I can't paint it black. <laughs> <laughs> what birds has done to my nice clean polo, Toby? Oh, no. They're still up there as well, mocking me. Bastards. Yeah, okay, all right, so, um, yeah, you're going to be uh, not in with us on Monday, obviously, understandably. No. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, okay, mate, no, that's fine, I appreciate it. Well, you can't help it. You just need to stop licking lampposts or whatever it is, wherever you thought it was. Yeah. yeah. No, it can't be helped, mate. Not to worry. Just yeah, just just worry about feeling better and um, let us know when you have some news. No worries, mate. Cheers. No mate. <sighs> he has influenza type A. Yeah. It's type A of influenza flu. Apparently, it's a type of. Avian flu. So we won't be ne back next week when the workshop's already backed up because it's been off for two weeks. It's just like literally this year couldn't get off any worse. Good afternoon, barometers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, are you local to us or? Okay. Could you get them to give us a. a a quote to get get the work done. We'll kind of compare it to what it would be for us to do it, and if it sounds reasonable, we'll just we'll just pay them. If not, we'll get it here and get it done. No problem. Cheers. Bye. Another warranty. Another warranty. Another warranty. I'm honestly contemplating life options, Toby. I feel like we should start just a. Uh, video production company. Forget the cars. I hate cars. Lost out on the, well not lost out on the MT units, but backed out of the MT units because of whatever. So that's happened. We've got an engine gone on a thingy and the guy specifically wanted a brand new engine, not a second hand engine. So we've bought that. In the meantime, Adrian's been off sick for about two weeks. So we haven't been able to actually change that. Um, you know, we're about a week behind on trying to do that. And then he's like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want it anymore. He's got a courtesy car. It's like, well, 
I spent four grand on an engine now because you specifically wanted a brand new engine. I, you would have seen on the previous weekly episodes where I said, have your money back if you want. I understand that you're probably getting frustrated at this point. You know, can't make any promises, etc. It's up to you, really. If you still wanted to do what, you know, sort of us kind of pay you back and do it that way so it's off your hands and we'll go ahead and do whatever with it, uh, that's, that's, that's fine. If you want us to go ahead and do a repair on it and still have it, then I'm happy to do that. You know, I'd turn around to you and say, oh, we've got to get another bit now. And you'd be like, this is taking the mick and you wanted it. But no, he wanted to keep the car, especially when he heard that I put a brand new four grand engine on it. Who wouldn't? But when that has been held up, he's now like, oh, I'm thinking about wanting my money back again. And it's like, well, what about the two and a half grand extra I've spent on an engine now for your specific choice? So, but that was Adrian obviously saying he's not going to be back for another week at least. Um, on top of that, we got, you know, the workshop's backed up as it would be. It's like three weeks of half staff as far as workshop goes and the warranty claims just seem to keep rolling in stuff you can't like a that was a, a show gun and it seems like the front caliper's seized and has worn down a pad and whatever um i don't know if she phoned us previously i can't remember what she said or she hasn't she's just gone to another garage but obviously there's been an issue with it and they haven't come back to us they've gone somewhere else and well i want you to pay can you pay them can you pay for it like, well, yeah, if we can get a price, it's sensible. Um, so, yeah, there's that. There's a Cougar. There's something's gone wrong with one of the wheels this morning. So the guy's, I think he's going to try and get it recovered back to us. But we did offer to take him a courtesy car. And we would have collected it. But I don't have any drivers today on a Saturday. Um, there's a car on the ramps that was one that we sold to a customer smart car. That Adrian started taking the gearbox out of to do the thing where that's still on the ramp because he hasn't been here absolute nightmare um, yeah the site I was hoping to get he's pretty much said I don't think I'll be letting car sales go in there again we're going to do something else with it because the big boys who were in there before probably rent another building off of them and are like don't let anyone go in there and do car sales again because it would be competition for us so they're throwing their conglomerate weight around which is sad really isn't it because that's somewhere that that conglomerate corporation started from as a small business and grew into this thing and now they're big bully boys they're like don't let anyone else do the same keep the man down a bit tragic really but that's business cutthroat can't really what can you say that's business um what else what else what else it's all been going to utter fucking shit hasn't it i can't think what else Oh, the Porsche Cayman that we fixed and sold four or five months ago. He's now like, oh, I've got an oil leak and I think you should fix it. And I've got a quote and it's three grand. And um, yeah, one blow after the other. I've had enough. Don't want any more. I want to crawl into a cave and die. See you next week. The only way is up. The only way is up. Yeah, that's that's sadly not true. Oh. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. I'm just just having. It will be all right. Just having a bit of a meltdown. Just just worn out, fed up, not happy. Hey hey ho. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to change a lot of things. Our customer mechanical work here, like running the workshop and doing MOTs for customers and things like that. You might have seen us talking about this in meetings. It's great, and you know, say like the the business expert James Sinclair, who I went on his podcast. His advice, I know, would be not that he specifically gave it to me. Would be you know, keep your cash flow rolling, get those small amounts coming in because it helps your cash flow, etc. But. You know, we might make two, three hundred pounds gross per day from the workshop, maybe the amounts that we do, maybe more, I don't know. I'm actually gonna look at it this weekend. So I can 100% say with certainty that I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's say it's a few hundred quid per day from whatever, on top of once the, you know, net, once the labor's taken out and all that sort of stuff. Um, 
but it comes with all the bullshit of people being like, oh, I brought my car in and now my bonnet thing. Were you not going to tell me? Getting really aggressive and being like, you broke something and you haven't told me. We just think, on what planet do you think I want to listen to you talk to me like that over the sake of £50 profit that we made on fixing your car and something else is broken now because your car's 15 years old and things break, you're going to come here and gob off to me. Unfortunately, my fuse is a little too short for that at the moment, so it's very well that I'm sat out the back here. But that sort of thing. MOTs, all the MOT centres are like closing ranks. None of them want to do trade MOTs anymore at a trade price. So they're all full price. So we charge the customer full price. You can't really say to a customer, oh, it's 75 quid for an MOT. But legally, you can't charge more than whatever it is, 55 quid anyway. So we're getting charged 55 quid and we charge out 55 quid. But in that, there's at least 45 minutes of our labour of driving their car across to an MOT centre and bringing it back. And then if it fails with an already rammed up workshop, we've then got to fix their car. And it's, it's the most important thing in the world to them and it gets in the way of our sales. So it's great having a bit of cash flow coming in. I feel like it's actually doing more damage than good for us at the moment. So I'm tempted to just say, we just don't do mechanical work anymore. We're a car sales garage and that is it. If you bought a car from us and it needs to come back for a service, we'll take care of you, no problem. But otherwise, people walking in and you know getting funny about their MOT or whatever, or you took my car for an MOT. We had a woman coming in like maybe a month ago and she came in and said, my car's filthy after you took it for an MOT. I'm not sure if she was all there and that's fine, I understand. Still something we have to deal with though, that's the reality of it. Oh, my car's filthy and I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, you know, what's happened? Is there something in the footwell or whatever? I know it's filthy on the outside, the arches are full of mud, it's clearly been off road and all you did was meant to do the MOT and whatever. I went out and looked at it and it was like spotless. There was like a couple of, it had gone through a puddle and there's a couple of like splash marks on the bodywork. I think I might have even taken pictures. If I have, I'll put them up because I was like, oh, let me take pictures and whatever. And it, you just, you just want to say to people like, what on earth are you thinking? Like we had to drive it to the MOT centre for you. We've made no money. In fact, we've made a loss in helping you get your MOT done because you want to come to us because we're geographically close to you. So that's convenient. And you leave it with us and we sort it. If there's going to be any work, we might make some profit off of that. But you're going to then come and say, oh, we made your car filthy. And it wasn't. I offered to say, if you're really worried, we'll give it a clean. No, I don't want it done. I'm going to get it done by someone else. Why am I dealing with these people? So we might do that and until we had a bigger site, it feels like we need to slim down. The problem is we were geared up for going and having an extra site, all the staff, all the stuff that goes with that, and now that's not happening. So now it's a bit of a bloated operation. Too many people, not enough efficiency, and yeah, I'm not happy. Things are going, oh shit, they're not going shit at all. Everything will be fine. This is a very good opportunity to make improvements and feel good about them. You know, we're profitable, just about. Toby makes more money out of the business than I do, believe it or not. Pretty much. Um, but that's because we've got salaries for people who aren't really putting their weight. And I need to find a way so that they can. So. Watch this space, big changes coming for Barrow Motors 2024. <laughs> Gotta bring the dog treats out, but the dog's long gone. Impressions, this is not my dog running around causing a nuisance for a change. Oh, not another one of those, fucking hell. You've seen how badly that other one's just fell with MOT of you. Which one? Just to add to my joy. We know the one that got 1,600 quid, then we spent 400 quid on it, and then we can sell it. Again? It's just, we put it through because it only had till April, and we had a spare MOT, and it's now failed on rust absolutely fucking everywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ. Didn't do very well on that, did I? So you don't want a petrol CRV then? I don't think petrol's are good news anyway. No, I, I, you're right, you are right. Unless it's auto. I used to think that and I would buy them. And I have well, bought them from here before. If they're super cheap and you want to stick it on the farm, then okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, something like that, it, probably I'd give them 300 quid too much for it. 
you know, do you know what I mean? And with hindsight, because he didn't buy, I don't remember him buying anything special. One thing I would like to make a point of with part exchanges, we definitely check the MOT history. Yeah. And if it's like full of fucking corrosion and whatever, we're going to get knocked down when we try and get rid of it, if yeah. we're going to try and, so we need to kind of like lean on them with that yeah. a little bit and be like, it yeah. doesn't look very good for it in the future, yeah, does it? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I would have said check to make sure they haven't been clocked if you look at the MIT history, but that was just so for being an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to be, because I never used to check the pipe stage, but so I just give it to the mechanic, so I need to be a bit better, especially with the older stuff, because it's harder to money. Yeah. It's, most um, it might, but yeah, it's no, most of it's all right. Well, we're never going to go too far wrong with the prices yeah. you're doing, but if the paint is the absolutely stuff, buggered, yeah, like that Galan, I mean, I think she might. I have. still, I still think that's got to be worth fifty thousand like, quid at least. Yeah, I think so. But I mean, you realise? I don't know if you looked oh, quite that closely at it when you it first was, looked at it. It was pitch dark. When it I saw looked a bit it, yeah, like it's like oh, the paint's not great. When you actually look at it, it's golf ball dense. It's yeah, I know. It's tiger it's stripe. It, but I, it was. I remember saying because it was on the uh, the events. But, but it's there. crap. It's crap. But yeah, I mean, on the I said to him, this could be worth nothing. It could be worth thousands. Yeah, six hundred quid. It was a guess. Yeah, I see that. That Mitsubishi Glam, that was such an odd one. And yeah, it, was no, one it, of them. it could be scrap, it could be worth three grand. But yeah. Right, yeah. Things with really short MOT, we really need to kick him in the balls because yeah. that's yeah, one thing. It needs to be like, as I mean, same when it came to me doing cars bought for more stuff. It's a car could be worth 1500 quid. If it's got three days worth of MOT left and it had a few rust advisories last year, yeah, it, it ain't worth 300 quid, quid yeah. really, because. Yeah. You could quite easily spend that on. Yeah. No, I'm not teaching you to suck eggs, but. Oh, no, no, I, yeah, was, I, was, I, I would never look at it before. So I, I get no, mechanics, but when they come in with a face like a smack glass and say, fuck it out, you're like, yeah. ah, right, I've still got to start lowering expectations. But I like, would say we could get Dan to do it, but he'd just go out and condemn absolutely everything. Yeah, Stefan's the same as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then, you know, I'm used to sort of make, I like mechanics saying, oh, you don't want to buy I mean, I mean my, my thing always used to be, I would, I started off not looking at them. I sort of like, oh, what have you got? And I got the price off of there and be like, is it reasonable? And they'd be like, yeah, it's okay. I did it with a, uh, a Civic that was worse paint than that Galant, believe it or not. And they'd like done filler work on it themselves and whatever. And honestly, when we went to go and pick it up and they parked on the side of the road, there was a pile of vomit where they'd open up the passenger door and just vomit. They're that type of customer. <laughs> and I'd given them like, let's say 800 quid for their car and it wasn't worth 100 quid, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And the other thing is, I always make the mistake of is not test driving it because it might look all right, but then you go and test drive it and it's like, kong, 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 and you're like, well, again, yeah, I can't that, it. that bloody Dodge no charge, why? I was that waiting was. for it to be a pile of, the thing I took today for two oh, months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was exp fully expecting it, but when they were talking, he's an ex-bus driver, and this, oh, he spends all his time looking after his car and he's just done the clutch and it's a thousand pounds, then he had to get fit, so he's had a clutch and a flywheel. Looked at the MOT history, obviously, like you know, there's very little rust on it. In fact, there's no rust, but like subframes and stuff. And then driving it, above the fact it's got a stupid gear stick on it, I don't know where to put that on it. You know, just the knob on the top. It's and it's a bit faggy, it's like they're smoking it. Somebody would love it, but yeah, fucking horrible. But yeah, it's like an extra, extra low budget Land Rover Discovery. Yeah, I think it's basically the same thing as like a Jeep Patriot, isn't it? Yes, it has got two point eight CRDI engine. Yeah. Perfect. So as long as the uh at least it had no rust on the knee. No, it's those sorts no. of things scare the hell out of me because they've all got subframes and they tend to rust for a past time. No, this one. Yeah, two point eight CRDI, seventy six thousand miles. Yeah, two grand on this. I mean, it's two one two five I think. That's a two five, it's a nice BK fifteen ENG. I am going to go down to the farm after this. I'm going to sit down in the office and I'm going to run all the numbers from the workshop for, say, like December um, to see actually how much we're bringing in because I'm going to do it anyway just as a yeah. mental exercise. But I think Monday morning, I am going to, 99%, I'm going to just say we're just sales now. I'm not doing it. Yeah, for me, it's great, though. Obviously. I think it might it'll be disappointing for the locals who are like, oh, we've come here for yeah. years and whatever and whatever. But Black and white, it's not good for our business. Yeah. It's not. It's well, um, what was the, Adrian, I mean, obviously it wasn't good news. He's got type A influenza. Yeah. Which is avian flu yeah. or something or whatever. Yeah. Uh, they've given him antivirals and anti yeah. whatever. He's got to go back in for bloods at 8am on Wednesday. So clearly he's not going to be back in long before that. So he's not going to be in next week, I don't think. Shit. Um, so I was, 
I might have put a thing out on Facebook saying, is anyone, any, do we know any mechanics who can come in and help us out? We're a man down for the last three weeks or whatever. But again, moving forward, like the benefits of getting rid of doing customer work, because I was never into doing customer stuff. It was only because there was a base here for doing it. And it's great that you get some turnover and whatever, but you get the problems, like the woman who was saying how disappointed she was her car was dirty after the MOT. Oh, fuck it, oh yeah. And Sorry, I just got to remember I got texted down, I'm not going to stick with the carry on hand. Yeah, no worries. We've got a customer here anyway, but looks like. Speaking of which. Hey, yeah. So it's traveling here. That's all right. You haven't seen that small lurch of dog. Is it your dog? Yes. Ah, okay. So I thought it must have been the owners who were chasing after it. So the last I saw it, like, that's why I had the dog treats out here, because I was going to go out and try and help. Chance to be a hero today. We tried. Any reason why the BMW Z4 would be taxed? Mm. Sure, it's taxed on air until the 1st of August, which is pretty much when we registered it. That's on. Why did Jordan take it somewhere or something? Did he offer to tax it so he could take it on some. I think he did borrow it at some point. Yeah, he did. Because I remember seeing it on one of his. Real pages where he's like, My boss is better than yours. Yeah, yeah, that thing actually. So, yeah, uh, probably that's why then. It's probably, yeah, Jordan's taxed it and he hasn't untaxed it. Oh, do you reckon he's still paying for it then? Probably. <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> where he's like, I ain't got no money. Yeah, that's why he's spending 40 <laughs> pounds on rent taxes. <laughs> <He's not laughs> <got a> <laughs> <don't> <laughs> no, 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 what I didn't fancy is his and do you know what it wasn't when he had his MX5 because he wouldn't mind uh, turning yeah, it for a date in his MX5 it was when he was driving around the van uh, that was too much shame for him to drive around in the works <laughs> vehicle to go on a date but to get in my MX5 yeah. what did the mate say anyway it's been his missus <laughs> he's got um, uh, an AGT five. he's capped at like 3 and a half 3 7 so I'll check on auto trader because cap is not usually very good for that and it was like 3,000 Three or four, mm -hmm. so that you give me four grand for it. Yeah. Um, if it's good, obviously. Somebody's quite about two or eight. Can I see it today? Okay. Do you want me to just text or drop it to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that number? Uh, right, so I'm coming to you from very far in the future, pretty much almost time for a new weekly episode to come out but we didn't get a chance to do an outro on that Saturday because we were looking for that dog we did find it in the end well I didn't but they came in and told me they found it after I'd given up but we tried very hard to help them with the drone and things like that and we were trying we were just in the process of putting out a Barrow Motors post when they let me know they would found it so that's good that was a relief um best car bought and best car sold I really can't remember I can't remember any cars that we bought or sold that week in fact if I look back um, let's say the Scirocco, the white Scirocco, because we had that for quite a while. We've sold it and we've taken, or we will have taken, a Park Exchange 118 uh, BMW in exchange for 1100 quid. So maybe we'll make a video out of that. How good it's going to be, I don't know yet. Um, and best car bought. I, can't, I just can't remember. Like I say, it's a week in the future now. Um, it's been flat out, it's been manic. The title of this video is probably something like, I, I want to give up car sales, I hate it, it's all going wrong, um, I'm dying inside or something, I don't know, maybe probably probably make it a bit snappier than that, but you get the general idea. Um, I don't think it's got much better going into next week. We've, we've done some, it, talking to you from the future, we have got some cool videos coming out, went to auction with Chops, uh, James of Chops Garage, so we've got some cool stuff coming out with that, um, and yeah. Spoiler alert, it's not really a spoiler alert because if you heard my podcast, which I have now got another YouTube channel full of podcasts, you can find it in the description. I've already said that, you know, I was 99% sure that I was going to stop doing mechanical work for customers and we have done it, pulled the trigger, got a few moans 
and upset people telling me that the business won't survive without the workshop. They must have seen inside the books the night that I haven't seen. People have always got an opinion, haven't they? But hey ho. Um, but I think that's it for this video. Hopefully it hasn't made you too depressed. Things, things will look up. Probably not this week because I'm talking to you from the future. It, yeah. But next week's going to be a bit miserable as well. And then after that, maybe, maybe it'll be upbeat. But it's all good, really. It's not the end of the world. It's just, uh, it's just been one of those starts of the year. But that just means the end of the year is going to be even better, I reckon. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. That would cheer me up. If you subscribe, that will really cheer me up. If you really, really want to cheer me up, you can head to my website, shiftingmetal.co.uk, and get some of my merchandise. Yeah, in fact, by next week, there'll be new stuff on there, new sizes. People have been complaining there weren't big enough T-shirts and things like that. We're collecting those on Monday. So they could be out very soon. If you need a vehicle transported, head to barrymotors.co.uk forward slash transport. We can give you a quote. I think that's everything I need to tell you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.